Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the German school system. Meet the Germans. Uh, yeah, I'm just interested how like, I, I kind of did a reaction to the university system. Now I want to know about the, the primary school, you know? Uh, so I hope that's what this video is about. Let's see. Ready for your first day of school in Germany? Yes. Ooh, I like this already. This is a Schultüte, a giant homemade or shop-bought cone filled with cool stationery, sweets, and other goodies that young kids get on their first day of school in Germany. From who? What? I want that. The German school day traditionally runs from around 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I want to know more about this freaking cone. But things are changing, and the Wait, German school day say? traditionally runs from around 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. But 1 p.m. Jeez, I don't really remember exactly. I got to school at like 7:30 at the latest, and we didn't get home till like three. I think it got out at 2:30. But things are changing, and many schools are now offering full days, which might include time for homework or extracurricular activities. This also means more schools are offering warm lunchtime meals in a school canteen. Mm. The reputation- You mean that's not like completely normal? <laughs> Here, yeah, absolutely, every day. Th there would be an outrage if you didn't have your lunch period. You're telling me you go to school and just like, you just get out before lunch and go eat lunch at home? Oh my gosh, this is, this is actually so different. This also means more schools are offering warm lunchtime meals in a school canteen. <laughs> the reputation for school food isn't great, which might be why some pupils opt for a packed lunch or eat at home. Yeah, but nobody brings it in a tin can, like a tuna can. A big difference from my school days in the UK is no school uniform. And there are restrictions on homework at the weekends. Plus Max to Wait, there's restrictions? No school uniform. And there are restrictions on homework at the weekend. Well, good for those freaking kids. What are the kids voting and like, what? How'd you get those restrictions in? Are the kids lobbying in the government? No homework on the weekends! Uh, yeah, no, that's not a thing here. Was magst du an der Schule? Ich mag, dass sie so groß ist. Dass Mädchen und Jungs gemischt sind. Dass ich meine Freunde immer sehe. Mein Lieblingsfach ist Bio, weil ich Tiere sehr mag. Ich mag gerne den Schulhof. Wenn man dann halt nicht so gut in der Schule ist, dass man dann halt umsonst Nachhilfe bekommt. Das Hmm, free tutoring. Okay, uh, some schools offer that. Die sure. Lehrer auch sehr, sehr nett sind. The marking system goes from one to six, with one... Marking system? What a strange. We've got the grading system. Being the best. Although in the last few years... One's the best? What? The marking system goes from one to six, with one being the best. Although in the last few years of some... And six is the worst, because it's like six, six, six. If your report card says six, 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 you're the devil and your, your parents kick you out. Huh? From secondary schools, 15 is the best. Essentially a one plus. Which means you could tech- The 15 is like a- The five is like a plus? What? Wait, wait, wait. From secondary what? schools, 15 is the best. Essentially a one plus. I don't get it. You're telling me it goes 15, one, two, three, four, five, six? <laughs> Ooh. Shouldn't it be zero? Which means you could technically end up with a very German 0.67 grade average. If you get a five in two or more subjects, you might have to repeat the year. Wie ist es ständig Noten zu bekommen? Das hängt immer von der Note ab. Ich freue mich auch, wenn ich Noten bekomme. Gut, weil man dann ja sehen kann, wie gut oder schlecht man ist oder ob man sich noch besser anstrengen sollte. Andererseits finde ich es auch nicht so gut, wenn es schlechte Noten gibt, dass dann die Kinder direkt traurig sind. Eigentlich ganz gut, weil es so ein Feedback ist. Manchmal ein bisschen blöd, weil man sich halt jedes Mal anstrengen muss. Ich fände es schön, wenn man sozusagen... These kids seem smart. Manchmal Let me just say that. ein bisschen blöd, weil man sich halt jedes Mal anstrengen muss. Ich fände es schön, wenn man sozusagen weiß, an welchen Tagen man sich besonders anstrengen müsste. The most common foreign languages to learn are English, French and Latin. Yep, Latin. Latin. Dant etiam posit. I mean, they do teach some Latin here too, and I never understood. I, I, I understand that, like, it's the foundation of a lot of modern language, but who cares? Why would you... Why would you want to learn that? This is aditum convivia mensis. One thing that really bugs me is that in German schools, an hour is not necessarily an hour. Same way at colleges here in the States. 
a credit hour is 45 minutes. Figure that out. Class is a split up. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you pay for an hour. Into Stunden, literally hours. Sometimes you might have a Doppelstunde, literally double hour. But one classic school hour is only 45 minutes long. So German school is just American college. The sport between schools isn't a big thing. Most people play sports in organizations outside of school. Hmm. And also, interestingly, your Wait, basketball no. courts have wood paneling right next to the net. Most people play sports in organizations outside of school. Okay, the next bit will require all your brain power. Right. The German school system is complicated. Education okay, is the responsibility of the state governments, so there are many differences across the country. Municipalities and individual schools also take some decisions. This allows for more freedom, but it also means that a lot of work gets done many times over. So this is roughly what the system looks like. Primary or elementary school is called Grundschule, and in most states that runs from grades one to four. At the secondary level, the traditional model is a three-tier system. At a Hauptschule, pupils aim to get their Hauptschulabschluss in grade nine or 10. Their what? They hope to get their what? System. At a Hauptschule, pupils aim to get their Hauptschulabschluss. At a Hauptschule, they aim to get their Hauptschule. In grade nine or 10, and then go on to a vocational college and or an apprenticeship. The middle stream is Realschule, where pupils aim to get their Realschulabschluss in grade 10. They then might do an apprenticeship. You just add Schlush to the end. That's what you want. Apprenticeship and vocational training, but for more technical trades, or they might go on to the next type of school. That's a gymnasium, the more academic. That would be where we work out and play dodgeball. Route, where pupils take their Abitur exams after the 12th or 13th grade and often go on to university. That's the most popular type of school. Gesam I'm... You get to choose a different kind of school even when you're that young based on what you might want to like pursue as an adult. Schulen are comprehensive schools combining the traditional streams and qualifications. They were introduced in the 1960s as an alternative to the three-tier model, but they weren't universally welcomed. Some states rejected the concept altogether. There has long been criticism of Förderschulen, where pupils with special needs are separated from mainstream schooling, and the majority of them don't end up graduating. But some states have taken huge steps towards inclusion in recent years. You might also hear other names. Well, that's, I guess that's like a touchy subject, but... I to some extent, you have to... They have different requirements and expectations based on their condition. That was the most politically correct way I could think to say like it. Like Oberschule, Mittelschule, Gemeinschaftsschule, or Stadtteilschule. These are different names for or combinations of the other types of schools, and they might mean different things in different states. And this is the simplistic version. Primary school teachers will provide a recommendation oh for which kind of secondary school each child should go to. Hell no. The teachers hated me. They'd send me to the gymnasium. I don't remember what that one was for. Primary school teachers will provide a recommendation for which kind of secondary school each child should go to. In a few states, this recommendation is binding, but in most states, parents have the final say. They're binding? Are you serious? So this is like freaking in The Giver where they they tell you what career you're going to have? <laughs> I get that it's not a career. It's just like uh, like different functions and sort of emphasis, I guess. Huh? That's so interesting, though. You, I would see how it's a lot more efficient of a way to, you know, get people focusing on their strengths. There is also some flexibility to move between the streams. But I, as a parent, I would definitely want to have the choice. At certain points. But still, some people argue the system is elitist and separates kids too early on. Mm. Fewer than 10% mm. of pupils in Germany attend private schools, but the number is growing, with mm. the highest percentage in eastern states. Private schools might be run by religious denominations or follow particular educational principles like at Waldorf or Jeneplan schools. We do have like uh, Catholic high schools is a pretty common thing here in the States that are private. Homeschooling is illegal in Germany because children are seen to have a right to both a good education and socialization. The PISA report... How are the kids getting all these rights? Good for those German kids standing up for their rights. Um, a right to socialization, you know? I like it. What evaluates education systems around the world. 
The most recent report shows Germany performing above average in reading, maths and science, but seriously underperforming when it comes to equal opportunities for children from different social backgrounds. Oh. And another area where Germany performed embarrassingly badly? Digitalization. In the comparison really? of digital training for teachers, Germany came 76th out of 78 countries. The country's <laughs> digital woes were clearly exposed once COVID-19 oh, came along. Yeah. Not enough students had access to digital devices. Online learning platforms were inadequate or non-existent. Some schools didn't even have Wi-Fi. Money has been promised to the tune of 5 billion euros by... I mean, hmm. I'm trying to think when... Yeah, we had Wi-Fi <laughs> and I went to high school a while ago. 2024, which will go towards dedicated IT administrators and an improved stock of computers and tablets. Some schools are already feeling the effects. Even in the analog realm, how well equipped and maintained schools are varies a great deal. Some have modern classrooms, libraries and sports facilities, while others have gross toilets, shabby classrooms and gross toilets. School facilities. Gross toilets. And that just like a you need the janitor to go in there and clean it up if it's a gross toilet. Facilities, while others have. That's not like you know, inherent in the school. They just need the janitor needs to maybe step it up. Maybe I'm just saying. Gross toilets, shabby classrooms, and missing equipment. School facilities are paid for by the local municipality, and some of them are simply broke. Federal or regional support often, That's the same way here. often doesn't make it to the schools because of another one of Germany's perennial problems, cumbersome bureaucracy. Was ist nicht so gut an der Schule? Die Mensas wegen dem Essen, das ist nicht gut. <laughs> Und äh, die Schulklos, weil die stinken sehr. Dass es so wenig Geräte gibt. Ich hätte gerne im Sportunterricht ein paar neuere Geräte. Get this girl some new sports apparatus. Diesmal werden, finde ich, Mädchen bevorzugt, dass es wenig Bäume auf dem Schulhof gibt. Wir haben sehr schlechtes <laughs> WLAN hier. Wenn Kinder in Quarantäne sind zum Beispiel, dann stürzt es immer ab und dann können die nicht am Unterricht teilnehmen. Ich würde mal den Schulhof putzen. I'm surprised to hear about like the internet issues and stuff like I think like Germans are super advanced at engineering and stuff I feel like so I don't know I just is it is it that way like residentially too or is that just a thing at schools with the bad Wi-Fi no wi what is with what is going on with the toilets that needs to be fixed. That needs to be the next thing on the agenda for these kids to lobby it. They don't need to be sitting on stinky toilets. Get higher, triple the janitors. We started the episode on our first day of school, so let's end on our last. Particularly at gymnasium schools, graduation <laughs> celebrations after the Abitur exams have become a rite of passage. The Abi-Streich is when pupils take over the school on their last day. Oh! Pranks like covering the school in toilet rolls. Yes, hey, they deserve it for There's the stinky toilet. A bit like a prom, and an Abi motto, a motto or pun. For That's the awesome, year. though. And to I love, I love. School pranks. To round it all off, there's the Abbey fart, where school leavers go on a Abby, trip together. Abbey what? The more cheap and touristy, the better. <laughs> the Abbey fart. Oh, yes. And they're drinking beer because they can drink beer at 18 or what? At 16? What is it? I don't know. But that was actually really interesting. I want to just see this cone again. Look at that thing. There, that's like a bouquet. A bouquet of pleasantries for children. Wow. Um, huh. Never seen that before. Okay, well, that was actually extremely interesting. Uh, well, thank you for joining me on, on this episode of Meet the Germans. And thank you for DW Euromax for that video. That was awesome. Um, and thank you for watching mainly. And uh, hey, subscribe if you want some more German reactions. Either way, thank you for watching. And I'll see you <gasps> tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.